Let's see what's in, what's in. See, this your Roman shot of minutes. And uh, I want to welcome y'all back to Empowering and Preeminence Multimedia Productions. Before I go any further, I want to give our praise to the Most High Yahweh, the Father of Yahweh Shai, pre and post incarnate into me flesh, and the Father of Abraham, the Father of Isaac, and the Father, and the father of Jacob. Um, our praises, our credits, our acclamations is exclusive to the Father. Uh, let's get to it, man. Um, I was just talking to him around um, a, a, a moment ago. And um, we, we was talking about this brother, um, shout out to the brother Booker of Um I did a meme called, I did a meme quoting this brother said, uh, falling in love is, falling in love kills a man's will to live. And um, it's interesting to think about that because when you think about it, it you know, falling in love does assassinate a man's will to live. And let me let let me Mashada Minutes explain. You understand? Let me Mashada Minutes explain why um, that's the case. The reason why that's the case is because when you think about the word fall, as in to fall in love, when you fall, then it means you are descending upon something. So when you are descending, that 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 means that you know something is something is depreciative in value. Its value is worth. Its equity value. Is appraisal has been depreciated. So when you so so the way I look at it, if you if you fall in love with a woman, that means that you have did some self appraising. And when you fall in love with a woman, that means that you have let that woman know that she is the she is the prize instead of you being a prize. You see what I'm saying? So so the thing is, when some is depreciative in value, that means that is worth is worthless. You see what I'm saying? You depreciate yourself in value. You understand? So what's going on is the book of Ephesians chapter 5, I believe verse 25 says to love your wives as Christ, Yahweh shall love the church. So it didn't never say to fall in love with your wives. It says to love your wives. It's different between loving someone to fall in love. You know, Birdman said, Birdman said this um, in a song called... Uh, Damn, what's the name of that track? It's, it's a number seven song, man, on, um, yes. Say, Lil Wan, Wan, what's that with your big dog? Um, yeah, that, that's, um, that's all that Lil Wayne Lights Out album. That, that was Lil Wayne's second career album called Lights Out, which came on December 2000. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a number, um, it's a number, uh, seven track. And, um, I remember, I remember that, um, um, Birdman said, um, dang, dang, yeah, Lil Wayne said, um, it's about dedication and smarts. And Birdman said, dedication and smarts. Don't put your heart in this game, because if you fall too deep in love, you might get caught in this game. So, so, that's some real stuff, man. Now, now they talking about drugs. You see what I'm saying? They talking about drugs and all that stuff. But this, but this definitely can apply to a woman, man, because... If you fall too deep in if you fall too deep in love with a woman, man, you're gonna get caught up. And 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 you know what what, what happens after that, you heard me, is that she takes precedence over your well-being. You did? She takes precedence over your well-being. Women, black women, man, you understand, are predators by nature. Especially if they especially if they're not confined to a moral principle. If, if they're not predis if they if they're not predisposed, man, to 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 to, to, to ethics. If, if they're not predisposed, man, to principles and all that stuff, man, these bitches, man, pardon my so-called French, they are predatory by nature, man. And, 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 and simps and beta males, man, they nothing but praise. They nothing but praise, man. You want to talk about some super predators like 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 uh like Hillary Clinton said, beside the so-called white man who, who who's a devil and a predator, you got the uh so-called black woman too. You did? You got them too. You understand? So, so you you gotta understand this right here. You heard me. Uh, if if a woman says that you fall in love with her, that means that that means that her expectations of you of you of you doing stuff for her to to fulfill her aspirations, to fulfill her perverted desires, is gonna be it, it, it's gonna be skyrocketing. You understand? You 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 willing you willing to climb up Mount Everest, man, just to please just to please this one woman. You understand? And that's messed up, man, because because we've been trained and confined to society 
that, that we should only be with women. And then you got some niggas, man, who, who are Hebrew Israelites that claim to be elfers, man, going around saying that we can't have more than one for going to the Bible. Nigga, you're sim. You're a beta male, wrong? You're a beta male. You swear, you swear to God up and down, man, you, that, you, that, you, that you're elf out here, man. But you know what you're saying that, you know, man can't have more than one wife. A man can't have more than one wife. And when you say that stuff, man, what you're doing is, bro, is you play, you play into the hands, man. You play into the, uh, to the hands of the card that's been dealt, man, by these succubus women. Like, uh, I told my, I told my round, uh, Kadar earlier, man. He posted something on, on Facebook, uh, called, uh, well, he posted, he posted on Facebook about this movie called, uh, Devil by Temptation. Now, Devil by Temptation is one of my all-time favorite horror movies, man. You understand? Because... For one, it's a, it, it really supports the content, the content of empowering premiums more particularly, and, and, and empowering premiums is more is lately the content is more geared towards exposing these uh, these sluts, you know, these black women, ninety plus percent of black women who are not virgins, man, are not, are not are not applicable for marriage according to the Bible. So that, so that makes them sluts by nature. Ninety plus percent of black women, man, according to the biblical criteria, are sluts. So, so they're not congruent for marriage. They're not congruent or comparable for marriage. And if you see the movie Death by Temptation with Kadeem Hardison from a different world, you can you can clearly see, you heard me, that you know the the main the main antagonist was a woman, was a black woman. She was a succubus. You understand? And she and, 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 she, and she was attracting every weak even every weak-minded men. She attracted men with her fake fingernails, her fake long fingernails, the makeup, the fake hair. You understand the, the the eye line and all that stuff because they know that 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 simp nigga like that superficial look. They know that simp men they know that simp men like that superficial look. So to use that to advantage to take precedence and to be expedient and advantageous and advantageous over that man to a point where she actually kills them. You know she has sex with them, she poisons them with, with, with whatever kind of disease she got between her legs, and she and she takes and she takes them out. You did. So, you know, that's why when I first saw the movie four years ago, man, it was very disturbing. It was very disturbing for me, man, because it tell you the truth about how vindictive, man, black women is. You see what I'm saying? So the truth of the matter is, man, the majority of the black women in America, man, unfortunately, they are that, they are temptation. Because that was a name that, that, that was a name that, that, that triggered, that triggered, you know, her behavior. If you've seen a movie before. You understand? A lot of women are this succubus woman. They, they are like a test succubus woman in their movie Death by Temptation. They are temptation. You dig? So, uh, so, so, you know, that's what happens, man, when you fall for a woman. Because see, what, you, what, what you're really falling for, you, you, you're really falling for the, uh, the, 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 uh, the surface of the woman. You know, as opposed to what she can do for you, man, internally. Because internally, man, she ain't really got much to offer you, to you because she suffers by nature. You dig? Yeah. You know, I've been I've, I've been living in Dallas, man, for damn near 15 years, bro. And, and I ain't never I ain't never met, you know, a selfish black woman like a woman from Dallas. You dig? But but yet but yet the, but yet the ones that really like me, the ones that, that that kept chasing and pursuing me as he's still doing today, they like me, man. But they ain't want to do nothing for me. You dig? They like me. They want to be with me, but they still want to eat pork. To my wife, I love my pork. I can't get, I, I can't, I can't shy myself away from pork. You dig? So, my thing is this, you heard me? If they gonna be like that, then that, that, that means that they were never, they was never applicable for me in the first place. They never applied to me in the first place. They was, they were never gonna grow for me because for one, they ain't virgins. You understand? They not, they, they, they weren't virgins in the first place. You know, you know, a lot of these wouldn't have children. You understand, and, and then and then you black women be having the nerve to say that you don't want to be with you don't want to be with the man that, that that has children, and of course I ain't got no kids, but simultaneously simultaneously you heard me, you 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 think that I'm compatible you think I'm compatible for you, but with all but all the dicks man that that that, that body your ass up, all the dicks that body that body up your your nasty stinky uh ass coochie. But you but 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 you wanna but you wanna throw that that nasty funky. Uh, that wolf, that 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 wolf cat towards my way, and trying to make my trying to make my life more com complex than it already is. You dig? So, so like I said, man, falling in love with the woman, man, is a no-no. 
Love your women. Love your wives. But don't fall in love with them. You understand? Like Birdman told Lil Wayne, even though the context about that was about drugs, selling drugs, getting to the game, if you fall in love or if you fall too deep in love, whether you fall in love moderately or fall to fall too deep in love, you know, you know, excessively, you're going to get caught up. And I'm telling you, women are predators. Women can sense a man that's falling in love with them and they're going to take advantage of you and in return you're going to get hurt. You understand? It's supposed to be the other way around. The woman's going to be falling in love with you because you are expedient, you are advantageous, you are, the, you, you know, you are the security net, you are the security blanket, you are the safety net. It's like I did, uh, I did a two-part series uh, last last month saying that the, the, the black woman savior is not Christ Yahweh Shah, I'm sorry. But Christ, Christ did not come to save you, black woman. He says it uh, practically in the book of uh, St. Luke chapter 9, verse 56. He said, for the Son of Man not come to the they have not come to destroy the lives of men, but to save them. I'm going to say it one more time. For the Son of Man have not come to destroy the lives of men, but to save them. Not the men and women, but the men. He came for the men only. He have not come to, to, to destroy nor consume the lives of men, but to save them, but to redeem them, to rescue them. You understand? That's Luke chapter 9, verse 56. And then when you read, uh, what is it, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 to 5, Paul says that the men of Israel shall be saved. The men of Israel shall be saved. Not the women, but the men of Israel shall be saved. And it says in verse 15 of that same scripture that the women shall be saved in childbearing. So how, so, so, what, so, so what's the key to salvation? Her being interwoven, intertwined with another man. You understand? The woman, the, 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 the woman at the well, St. John chapter 4, Christ told her, hey, look, you want these living waters? Go call your husband. She said, I don't have a husband. He said, you have said correctly, you don't have a husband, for you got five husbands. Which means he understood that, that, that sex consum, con, consummates marriage. And the main reason why you black women keep teaching that, that, that sex does not come, consummates marriage, because you know you've been bodied by, by more than um, two men in your life. So you know that, that, that you are only congruent to be a concubine. You're only congruent, man, to, 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 be, to be subpar to that of a wife. I have no intention, man, in trying to get any black woman to the true man who ain't virgins. Because, see, what I'm doing is I am aiding and I am aiding and abetting you, man, to, 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 to sucker our men, sucker our weak-minded Israelite men, especially in these camps, to marry you women. When y'all know that you're not compatible, no congruent for marriage. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Now, if you want to be a concubine, okay, cool. But if you're not wanting to be a concubine, but you won't be somebody's, you want to be, you won't be somebody's wife, knowing that you are not compatible, knowing that you're not suitable for marriage, according to the Torah. Because like I said, Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 4 basically says that any man that goes into this woman man that have sex, they have been banged by two uh, two different men. She's been defiled, and, and, and that's considered an abomination. That's like being a homosexual. That's like eating pork. There are many reasons why you shouldn't be falling in love. Love your wife, but don't fall in love. Because when, when, when you fall in love, man, you're going to get caught the hell up. And a woman can sense when a man is falling in love with them, because now she has these freaking uh, uh, summits of standards, man, that's never going to be reached, man, because her standards, her standards and criteria, man, is, 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 is without conclusion, is without, is without bounds. And she's going to be insatiable, because black women is insatiably power-driven. Wicked black women at that, they are insatiably power-driven. Y'all know it's the truth. You understand? And the, and the true part, and the sad thing about it, the woman, the main woman that's insatiably power driven, man, are the ones who ain't virgins. You've been by, you've been by up by 20, 30, 40, 50. One, one dude said, man, he the woman that, that banged up approximately 4, 490 um, dudes. And you know what's sad about that, man? I wouldn't even put it past it to be the truth. Because black women have been, black women have been conditioned and trained, man. To be the slut, to be the streetwalk. I was listening to a song by Michael Jackson yesterday that should have been on Bad Album called Streetwalker, referring to a prostitute, a slut, a succubus. You heard me? Come on, man. You black women, man, are not compatible nor congruent for marriage. And you definitely don't deserve any man falling in love with you. If a man, a man that falls in love is a simp, 
And just like the brother of Book of, Book of Ronnie said, it does kill your will to live. It assassinates your will to live, man. You're going to get caught the hell up. Stop, stop, stop thinking that this, this may be the only woman in my life. No, man, you're being conditioned, man, by Edomite standards. You can get any woman you want, man, as long as they're compatible with the fucking Torah. Man, I, you know, I try to keep it clean as I can, man, but, but God damn. If she's not fucking compatible with Torah, that bitch is not worth any of your time. Cause that's all she is. She's a bitch. A shameless woman should be counted as a dog. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 26 verse 25. The, the revised standard version of the same scripture, a self-willed woman is a bitch. I'm not saying it, the Bible is saying it. I'm just a mouthpiece. I'm just a mouth guard. <sighs> Never fall in love with a woman. Because, because you, depreci you depreciate yourself. You become more depreciative in value rather than appreciate it. You want the woman to appreciate you because you are valuable. You are her God, God damn it. In the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6, said, you are gods. You are children of the Most High, but you shall perish. You shall die like men. You understand? Soldier the fuck up, black man. You heard me? Soldier your asses up, you heard me? You understand? Be a God, be a Lord. You heard me? Like it says in number chapter 12, we are Lords. In James chapter 3, verse uh, 9 and 10, we are made in the similitude of the Most High. We are Lords, we are Gods, we are Kings. You understand? This, 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 this is the Alpha, this, this, this is the, the brand new era, the era of the Alpha Messiah. You understand? The era of the Alpha Messiah. You understand? So, um, for that, man, that's what I want to say on that, man. I might do a part two about this year, you heard me? And uh, for that, bro, salute, salute to all my true alphas out there, man. Salute to all my MWAs out there. You understand? Um, some people call them Sigmas, you know. I'm going to do, a, I'm a do a video on why I don't call myself a Sigma no more. You dig? Um, but, but, but those of y'all don't know, give you a little sample. MWA means monastically withdrawn alpha. Um, I did a meme about that too. If y'all check out my Instagram, my shot of minutes on Instagram, you're going you to see my meme. I got Michael Jai White, my favorite martial artist up there. So, um, yeah, y'all 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 checked it out, you dig? I'm almost running out of time, man. <sighs> man, for that, bro, till next time, man, be, be, looking, be looking out, man, for more uh, fire-ass content like this, you heard me? And uh, for that, man, Shalom. Peace. You heard me?